It is October 1941, what the Germans call Operation Typhoon just entered its third week. The final push to capture Moscow proves very hard for the Wehrmacht. Now that the Rasputitsa is frozen solid, the offensive may be moving quicker, but it's also getting very cold and the Germans are not equipped for winter. That doesn't change the fact that they are still in a hurry to get to Moscow. To get there, it is essential to capture the towns along the Moscow Highway. This road, one of the few paved roads that lead to Moscow, is absolutely essential to bring forward the reserves and supplies that will be needed for the Germans to capture the Russian capital. In an attempt to trap the 32nd Army, which is defending Vyazma, a two-pronged attack is staged to take the last major town on the highway before Moscow. This mission is part of the North Pincer, which moves forward to cross the Dnieper River at Klushkovo. The small village will prove a big test. The attackers will need to be very cautious and very quick at the same time. It will be paramount to secure this river crossing as quickly as possible. Soldaten, we have orders to clear the road for the attack on Vyasma, but the village ahead keeps us from crossing the Dnieper and is heavily defended. We must seize the Dnieper crossings and drive the enemy out of this sector. I expect nothing but the very best from all of you. Angriff, Männer! Angriff! Verstanden. Welcome back, Commander. Uh, I'm going to run through the Germany campaign. Secret objective. I happen to know what that one is. Reinforcements so we'll are at your disposal. Use them well. Our reserves are limited. Limited resources. That's what I don't want to hear. Look at this little tank. Um, I'm going to quiet, just fire it. I'm really interested to find out what this tank is. Um, when I highlight it, it has Hotchkiss machine guns, which to my thinking are French. So I don't know if that's a captured French tank or a captured Czech tank that used French machine guns. I don't know. Uh, but it's not the sort of famous German tanks that I'm used to. So what we're we going to do? Um, first thing we're going to do is head for the secret objective. It's over on the left of the map, but there are there is a German trench line, sort of in the way, almost in the way. I mean, I could probably sneak through to my secret objective, but I wouldn't be able to sneak back with. Them. And as you'll see when we get there, I really want to. So that's my captain unit with the uh, with the eagle. He's got a pistol, but most importantly, he's got a pair of binoculars. And uh, they're really useful. More useful than the sniper rifle scope, they do the same thing, but on a sort of a wider scale. So they'll basically be able to see into uh, enemy territory, see beyond the fog of war. And if I use that in conjunction with longer range weapons, tanks, mortars, snipers, it'll be very effective. I'm going to put him on this side because I think with there he can see most of the right hand side of the map, if not all of it, and all of this left hand side. So that's going to be my first priority is sorting out that trench line. I'd like to degrade it, if not remove it entirely. Uh, as is my want, I shall be hiring some snipers for the job. I like to have snipers in teams. I like more than one sniper. 
it's the same in all games with snipers one's never as good as two or three or four and it kind of speeds up what they're doing uh, not does it speed up what they're doing but if they're fighting uh, a swarm of infantry like a whole squad the whole squad would get them it's just they'd close to machine gun range before he could snipe them all if there's two or three that's no longer the case that kind of uh, makes the difference in terms of uh, I don't know if you've seen me do it before but in terms of degrading these trenches where essentially you leave the sniper in range and you'll highlight the trench with either another sniper scope or um, the officer's binoculars it takes time it's like it's a slow process gradually one by one you know he's popping off three or four shots waiting for the guy to stick his head up pops him waits for the next guy to stick his head up pops misses pops misses pops with pops him waits for the next guy and that just it's a slow game if i add more snipers so there's one or two or three or four that process speeds up significantly and it becomes a more fluid and frankly more enjoyable game when it's fluid. I've got some extra supplies, the choice was um, fuel or, or ammunition, obviously I went ammunition. That's my sniper look, he comes on the back of that, I can't remember what they're called, that little um, half track motorbike. Him and a, him and a spotter, and a spotter's useless. In the Kuba wagon came a tank crew. Obviously I intend to capture loads of tanks, so I love capturing tanks and spanning them back together and then manning them. And they're quite cheap, they're 40 and they come with a Kubel wagon, which has nothing in the inventory and it's essentially, uh, it'll get them across the map to wherever you need them, pretty sharpish. What is that vehicle called? I can't remember. No, this, it hasn't got a gun on it or anything in the inventory. Well, it's got plenty of toolkits. Yeah. Essentially useless. A bit of eye candy to play with. And all of our inventory is mechanised. Everything comes in a vehicle. Nothing deploys just as some men. The motorised infantry squads in a truck. The, the Panzer Waffle crew, the tank crew come in a car. The, Sniper comes on a motorbike or something beginning with H. I don't know. It'll come to me right away. There's my second sniper crew. Now resources, it says are tight and I'm a little concerned so I'm not going to buy four snipers. Just going to stick with the two and see how we get on. And then I sort of want to set up a neat defence here. Um, my thinking is, if they're behind this road, it can't, and just their barrels are sticking over, it kind of gives the tanks extra cover. You know, what I want is that just the top of them sticking out in firing range. So organise these uh, tank crews, get them to sit out on the right somewhere. He couldn't get out of his car. Lock the door, park too close to the car. Is there here? Is there a medic now? I want to set up um, a combined arms operation, a line of sight operation basically, so that as enemy come in, the first thing they see is the infantry, they engage the infantry, what they can't see, because they're line of sight, because they're engaging from the minute they've got line of sight, is the long range weapons behind the infantry, if they're opening up. Um, so a shield of infantry, just to essentially open up the fog of war, so that my big guns can fire in, 
you know, the tanks, the cannons, the mortars, the machine guns, the snipers. So they can fire in from without being seen by the enemy, so they've got advantage. A layered defence. Playing the German campaign, I'm expecting it to be pretty much on the attack the whole time. Um, I think this is the. I think the campaign is, you know, the attack on the attack on Russia, Soviet Union. So I don't think there'll be any defence missions. I think we will and that suits me. I, you know, I think a play st the play is better when you're on the attack. I like defence missions, but meh. So I've advanced a little um, infantry unit down to the left along the bottom, as you can see, just above the end sign on the mini-map. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. I think they might just be... getting in the way up there. Got a medic ready. Um, got the snipers coming to come and essentially degrade the tents. The tents? The trenches. And behind that trench line there's a machine gun point and a can. So the little arrow symbols are. I don't really want to mess with them. That's the top trench line. That's uh, I think that's where the mission wants us to go. And the map will open up behind them once we get there and clean it. So look, there's a tank in that shed. And then there's some kind of big uh, couple of trench lines tank inside a barn and then some kind of big cannon there a field gun um, light field gun is that art is that artillery of sorts or is that an anti-tank gun or is it a combination of both don't know anyway that's a field gun it's a 76 millimeter um, obviously I can't send my tanks up that road with that there frankly I don't think I want to send my infantry up that road with that there either but, uh, we'll work on it in the meantime let's go to the secret objective it's a secret. Uh, this is the opening mission that I first played for this game. So I've played this one before. Um, probably you have two and you know what the secret objective is too. But hey, don't ruin it for anyone. Let's keep it a surprise. Well, the snipers have gone in. Start to work on that little trench. I'm going to quickly separate off the snipers' spotters from the snipers. Um, I just think they draw fire and they're not not what I want. So stick them in that little depression perhaps. Yeah. Where hopefully they won't get shot. So as you can see, it'll take a little bit of time to get this done. Um, but it's pain free. Just working our way through the trenches. 
I'm going to speed it up a bit. There's a lot of missing between shots that I'm skipping for you, so you'll just see, get a general feel how it's working out. to reposition once uh, I can't get the angle on them anymore. The best shot possible down the trench is obviously um, lengthways in, you know, down the run of the trench, angled down the run of the trench so they haven't got hard cover. I'm just going to wiggle around, pick them off. Right, this is the guy I'm after. Um, the, not the one he's aiming at, shooting at, unhelpfully. But the one behind the sandbags, they're in the centre of the screen. Is a guy with binoculars, him. I'm trying to knock him out so that cannon stops firing at me. I have to keep repositioning. The AI's got, he's choosing his own targets and he's not choosing the bit optimum ones. Oh, reposition a bit and uh, try again. Might manually shoot it if it doesn't pick it. By his own choice. All right, he's got him. That should make it quite a lot easier. Friendly casualties located. Fire now. We should be out Those of their cool line of sight. ended up in the worst possible place. So that's the secret discovered. Now you know what it is. It's a big rocket artillery thing, a Nurblewerfer. That's going to make a big difference. We're going to finish off the rest of this trench while um, I'll have sent my tank crew in to go and man it. And they'll bring it back to our lines once it's safe to do so. It's not safe to do so while that cannon's there. They'll just blow it up. I could even use a Nerve Warfare on this trench here, but I don't know how many shots I'm going to get with it. So I want to save it for um, the trench at the front, at the top of the road, and beyond. Because this one I feel I can snipe. So he's auto sniping is going for the wrong target. Look, he's going for some guy hiding behind the bullet shield. But if I manually um, control him, I'll get some better results. I'll get him to choose, pick the exposed guys. There, now here we go. That's a lot more successful. But I can't get the other two. They're still behind that meat shield. So I've repositioned. Let's see if we can uh, do a bit better. Pick some more off and pick that defence. So a couple of guys here behind the wood piles. Let's have a pop at them. Oh, no, my cannon's still active, like, shooting back. So they can see me. So I'll move, and then the cannon will lose line of sight, and I don't think it'll reacquire me without the binoculars or 
some blokes in. Oh, look, he's changed position on the back. I could pop him, I suppose. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I kind of counterattack. They're coming for me. Let's see how he likes a bullet. There. Yeah. Quite a lot of them. I've got two snipers. So as I was saying earlier, you know, a point like this with one sniper, I mean, I'd do a lot of damage, but I'd at least have to run off. But with two, I might just take all of them. No, but it's looking good. So far, so good. It's a tactic I like in Company of Heroes too. You know, the the winning formation in Company of Heroes: four snipers, and any infantry unit that comes towards you just disappears, just eats them. And all you have to do is dodge armor. Hiding behind is saving him. Saved by a bit of fence. So reposition again, what we're going to do this time now is we're going to sneak all the way around the back of those cannons, or that cannon and the machine gun nest. And uh doesn't seem to have the right angle for those two. Hang on. Engines. Alright, here comes a tank. So... I'm going to retreat back. I'm going to try and lure that tank. Um, the guys hiding behind the Nerval Ruffer are just going to stay low. But I'm going to try and just see me repeat this tactic uh, throughout, this throughout the game. I'm going to try and lure them onto my gun line. I've built a gun line on the road. Uh, there's a tank destroyer and a tank. And they're both set to um, anti-tank munitions. And they're pointed hopefully in the right direction. Waiting. And I'm going to lure that guy you know, out of his vision range into the into the fog of war. Where my anti tank will be waiting for him. There's a little tankette, let's zoom in to me and uh he's like a BR five or a BR seven. BTR seven BTO BTR. Look what? Yeah, facing the right direction, waiting. Look, there he is. Skillfully done. So it's kind of a light, speedy tank and a tankette. And I, I, my infantry can't hang up, can't compete with that. So I'm going to run my uh, tank destroyers forward, see if they can get to a range. I've just clicked fire, so he'll just drive up to it and shoot. And it's a big old mod or something that should have proper tank killing gun in it. Oh yeah, that seemed to properly tank kill him. But now he's really exposed, look, now he's far out all on his own, there is an anti-tank cannon there. that tank out and I think I'll just hide it out of there and try and bait them back. Oh, 
base at the end of the road also has some kind of guy, field gun. I don't know what the range on that is, so I don't really want to send armour too far forward. Alright, that's unmanned, that's capturable. Um, as, but not yet, I think that's it's surrounded by anti-tank guns and now is not the time to capture that. We get the um, snipers out and as I said get back to running around the back of that anti-tank gun and the machine gun nest and popping them all in the back where they've got no cover. And we'll finish cleaning out the trenches and it'll be a stunning victory. Nail him. Oh, looks like I'm going to get him too. Now, if there's loose infantry around, they will reman these. Um, it doesn't bother me. You know, I've got a nice line on them. I'd like it if they did. Just make my shoot. You know, bring me the cannon. Bring it. Come and sit in front of my gun. work on this um I haven't got the angle for all of them but I'm getting most of them from here. Or not. There's one machine gun don't don't have this guy. Can't get him. But maybe these other two in the other corner. Or the other Maxim. Shifty, just posi reposition to get the angle on that final guy, and then I'm going to pop round. Um, I don't get too close to the eastern end of the map. You look at the mini map the one on the left, because that's where it's going to expand out, and I don't really know what's on the other side. I've played this through before, and there was a big old base up up there, and it was very messy. I'm not going that way this time. This time I'm going to go down the road. Take it up a bit. The nice thing about these games is there there's always a different way to do it. Looks like the fording area has been cleared of hostile troops. Stick it up in the ammunition reloading pile. Also, going to capture that gun. Move that down to our to our road line as well, and then we'll advance up the road uh, through the trench, through that tank in the shed, through the field gun, up to the bridge on the river. Clean it out and then cross it. Crossing the Dnieper. I mean, Dnieper, as far as I know, the Dnieper is a massive river and it goes from sort of top to bottom of Ukraine. It's a really difficult, really strong defensive line, really difficult river to cross. That tent, rather than throw that tent away, uh, let's try and use it. 
I'm going to throw them away before you know what the hell is this stupid tent in my inventory. Well, it might just be able to. I'm trying to. Can he set it up? How does he set it up? Maybe if I. Um, there's no. Oh, yeah, there is a build tent button. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got a healing tent. Stand by that, I presume, and you just get healed. Interesting, might be useful at some point. 100% efficiency. This is a noble worker. That's roughly where the field gun is behind where the where them are pointing it. Six shots and good old rocket. Five percent efficiency. Yeah. Right, let's have a look. See what's happened. Uh, no, the, the, the field gun is wrecked. Look, that's just a little bit under the point of there. It's just a little bit of blown up metal. I haven't captured it, but I've got rid of it. So we should be good to advance up the road a bit. See what happens. Snipers are going to do their thing on the do their number on the trenches. And not necessarily just a sniper. I saw the tanks joining in earlier. Tanks for popping headshots with their super cans. In the um, Burma campaign. When the Brits were on some hill fort in the jungle, the Japanese were using cannons for snipers. They'd have their artillery piece, anti-tank gun, and they were sniping with them. As the officers binoculars, I was using to highlight stuff, and the uh, tanks and snipers doing the rest between them. Still worried about this tank in the shed. Uh, I don't know what that can do. It's a pretty good hard. It's behind sandbags. And yeah, it's front like hard armors facing, front facing. I'm going to flank the trench, shoot down the side, hopefully to clean it out. Oh, I can hear engines again. Got a pretty good gun line. If anything does come. Usual tactic. Yeah, yeah, look, something's coming. So I'll try and lure him, I'll try and bait him onto uh, kite him, is that the right word? Game of talk, kite him. I'm going to kite him down to my own gun lock. Well, I, 
I'm going to get killed by him and flee. <laughs> Run back to my own gun line and hopefully he'll uh, chase me onto some cannons. So I think that guy, uh, there's a dead sniper up there, the white X on the minimap in front of the red dot, in front of the red cheese top ridge. That can be healed, so I'll get a um, medic up there to revive him. Hopefully after all these tanks, there seems to be a lot of them, have suicided. Attempted suicide by German. At some point I dropped my medic's pistol and I just couldn't find it. I did the highlight key and everything. Oh my god, that thing's right next to me. He's standing right on top of it. Run! Yeah, I lost his pistol. At some point I'll pick up a gun. Less naked. Saw two tanks up there, one in the shed and one more. I might be able to sneak in there and revive if the uh, sleeping sniper is, needs to be told it's not break time. Come of these tanks, or is it just tank crew? I can't tell. Maybe both. By the way, I better take the other sniper back up there with a the medic. He's not going to make it on his own unarmed. Don't want to think what he's doing. Sanitäter ist einsatzbereit. Achtung, Feindpanzer! Sanitäter, took his tent out of the medic. He's got his second tent ready. The other guy's got a gun, he's got a tent. Oh, I'll assume he's going to have a. Big machine gun, but only feel better now. Don't you feel better now? Yeah, look, you should have things. Take some bullets. Pretty loves bullets. Das könnte nützlich werden. Yeah, now look at you. You're like Rambo. Let's mop these up and then see if we can work out how to get rid of that tank in the shed. Behind the tank shed, um, between that and the river, there's something that looks like just here. Look, something that looks like a mortar pit. Uh, wouldn't mind getting rid of that. Pretty sharpish. Don't like mortars. Or at least I love mortars, but not when they're firing at me. That's the destination we're heading for. 
over there and kill them all. I think it's mortar. It might be rifle grenades. There's definitely explosions coming my way. If there isn't a mortar in it, I should put one in it. How's like that for a plan? This is the tank in the shed. Look. It's got a rear facing machine gun. I was going to try and loot some grenades off one of the bodies, like a tank killing grenade. But it's got a rear facing machine gun. I don't fancy it anymore. And that changed my mind. At the front, it's got front facing machine guns. So it's only got machine guns. It's not a threat to armour. So I've got to run up there and shoot it with a tank. I was tempted to try and capture it too, but honestly, it's a machine gun tank. It's not it's not all that. Oh look and there's somebody over the bridge in the fog. Keep rotating the camera to get the mini map to show me all of it. The problem um, I've got with the mini map is that I've used. Uh, Excellent. The bridge access seems to have been cleared. I've used a window setting to override the scaling on the icons in the Soldaten, text. Soldaten, we are not done yet. The enemy still holds the other river bank. It's imperative we break through and seize all the strategic positions. I'll show you how to do it if you look in my um, if you look in my Men of War playlist. Uh, I'll show you how to I do it. I have been told that we should expect the village of Klushkovo to be heavily defended. The Soviets are holding the line to prevent the encirclement of their troops between Vyazma and Bryansk. And that's because otherwise this is in 4K, which I'm playing it in. Reserves um, and upgraded equipment are at your disposal. Shut up! Yeah, talking. <laughs> yeah, and that's because um, playing this in 4K, the icons are so small, I can't read them. I mean, even with glasses on, I'd have to go and sit right up in front of the screen. Um, you know, even with my massive telly, it's too small. So I bump the scaling up to the same as I have my Windows desktop on, by, um, and that does unfortunately mean it doesn't quite work neatly, so the mini-maps being obscured by the icons. I'm having to rotate it quite a lot, just to see whatever's hiding behind the icons. So we'll have an advance now, we'll advance up to the river, and just shove the whole line. Everything I've got there, that defensive formation, I'm going to move it right up to here, look, about there. And then we'll advance over the river with all that firepower behind us. And do much the same, advance over the river using snipers and, and, the, uh, and the officer to keep line of sight. Just bought a um, Pac-38 anti-tank gun. Probably going to get more than one of those. I think they're going to be the most effective anti-tank. Still something alive there. I think it's the tank crew from the tank in the shed. See that this sniper's trying to tell me something's in there.
Now, if you look at the mini map, in the, we're in the bottom right, in the top left, there's a sort of a um, couple of village compounds and a big trench system up on a hill. Last time I played this map, I went up the left hand side, across the bridge there, across the, you see there's a trench line on the other side, um, and then up the hill into that town. This time, I'm going to go the other way, shake it up a bit, I'm going to go up the right hand side. I think we'll leave the tent. Just bring everything else. So I've got two pack 38s now. I didn't buy any of the big tanks. There's um, a Panzer IV, a Panzer III with a tank anti tank gun. Uh, I don't really have a lot of luck with tanks as an offensive, you know, as a, as a um, siege breaker. Spamming a tank, charging with a tank, just, for my mind, just gets the tank blown up. It needs to be second line. It's got to be, you know, it's got to have infantry ahead of it. They've got to be doing the... And we'll just creep and do, we'll just creep this formation all the way across the map. And what we'd ideally like is that any time one gun can fire on a target, all guns are firing on the target. It's now repairable. There's nothing to kill it. So I kill it. You never know, it might come in useful. So there's, there's two more anti-tank guns. So we're going to have three. Look, I've got the captured one and the captured one's like low caliber. Going to have a hard time with the tank. It's going to do all right with another car. But the other one, three are pack 48s and I think you know 76 millimeter quick guns. High velocity. I think they'll uh, shred through enemy tanks. At least I hope they will. Okay, you haven't fixed it yet. They don't seem to just repair it until everything repairable is repaired. If they click, you know, if I click on a tank, it repairs the bit I clicked on, you know the left track, the hull, the turret, the cannon, whatever it is. And then once it's done that, he has a tea break. That's it, he's done. Oh, I'm going home now. I've done no more work for me. One of those kind of employees, just trying to do the minimum. So lazy and useless. Schützebereit. 
Hast du noch eine Zigarette? So, that's our way in. We're going to go up this hill. Trench lines here. Take it all the way. I'm listening, like I'm listening for armour. Um, and this is our ultimate goal, is this settlement here. The top of that hill. Scharfschütze here. Mission-wise, I think we're about halfway, uh, which is a good time for me to try and black you. Please, using your uh, using your right hand, if you can, move the mouse over the like button and click it. Yes, uh, this helps me get viewers. Essentially, this this uh, teaches YouTube that it's worth watching, which I hope it is, but. You might not agree, and uh, and then YouTube will promote it to more people than it than it does. More people will get to see it. I'm hopeful that you'll humour me by pressing the like button. And the other button that I that I cornily and cheesily like is the subscribe button. If you'd like, uh, I will be making more of these. If you'd like to be notified. The subscribe button is the one and that also again helps me yeah the like button and lots of people have been by the way thank you to everybody who has I noticed that lots of people have been clicking the like button but by my standards lots which isn't anyone else's standards um, and that thank you Thank you so much. People clicking the like button, I get sort of, you know, five or six likes a video. And that it that makes a huge difference. Something like, and that's five or six times the, pe the amount of people YouTube then promotes the video to. Uh, it makes an incredible difference. So yeah, please, A, thank you very much, those kind people who have done it, and B, please do it. Please do it some more. I love it. I don't just like it. I love it. All right, so we've got that little foxhole. Am I going to stick a mortar in there? Probably. And here's the gun line, and we'll advance over. You know, under the under under our own, the cover of our own guns, we'll advance over the hill. Rinse and repeat all the way around the map. Sure, but I might have zero casualties so far. Here's, you know, here's. Let's have a look at the end. I haven't been a bloodbath. I've got playing it, you know, deep at a reasonable, at a slow pace, creeping doom. With just a big, ever, build, ever, ever bigger build up of troops. Keeping in a strong formation the whole way. It's slow. It's slow progress, but uh, 
strong it works. Just flattening this building. Um, Make this defensive, we can make this a strong position so all the guns must be firing on whenever enemy comes to me at the same time. So by taking away telling its division and the side open, that keeps my formation strong. Because they don't need cover, the enemy needs cover. They need superior firepower. Well, let's do some advancing. We're gonna Maybe skip forward in time a little. See in a second. I've scouted the first uh, first units look on the mini map. Let's scout some kind of armor up there. Have a good look and see what this stuff is. Looks like another tankette. Um, on the top left corner is a field gun. An infantry guy. So that I think is the first line of defence over the river. So we'll build a big, that's probably just about, we'll make sure that at least the tankette is all in range of our guns and then we'll scout over there with some snipers or something. Snipers, well, definitely spotted them. Ah, that tank Kent spotted them and then got shot by the Pack 48 instantly. Like it, worked according to plan. Here's the next line for the snipers to degrade. Decimate. Dunk on? I don't know. Running out of D words. Devastate. Destroy. Destabilize. Damage. Look at the timing on the shooting of the, uh, on the far right of the trench line. Uh, not this guy on the left, machine gun, but the guy with the anti-tank gun. Look at his timing, as he, he ducks down to reload every shot, he messes up the sniper's scoping every time. He's like an impossible guy to kill, he just ducks constantly at the wrong end. Machine gun, eh? he wants to learn to copy him. To be fair, I'm not having a lot of success with any of these. Maybe he'll die quietly. That's better. I said die quietly. Right? Quite lazy. The other thing I can do, of course, is wiggle them, just move them just a little. Might change it. Oh, 
jetzt. Nehme das Ziel des Visiers. Gehe in Schussposition. Turn next to hope. <laughs> and that could be my trench. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's up there? Some kind of cannon. I like nuns. Scouts are reporting tank movements towards the village of Lushkovo. Unfortunately, in this weather, the Luftwaffe cannot help you. So hopefully those tanks, the tank movements, will chase me onto, onto my gun line, which you see at the bottom of my mini-map is pretty strong. That's four cannons on the top row. Long line of sight. A couple of tanks behind that. Um, and artillery, and a mortar, and a Werbel Nerfer. If they, if these tanks are dumb enough to chase me onto that, I predict victory. I probably, uh, what I haven't done, and perhaps should have done, is to, is to make sure that all the anti-tank have anti-tank rounds in the up the spout, not anti-infantry rounds up the spout. Uh, too late now. We'll see how it goes. P28 and War Thunder, that's a heavy. Shut off. And that's a lootable tank. Repairable, lootable. Yes, please. I'll take it. All right, so yeah, that's the tactic. That's going to keep, we're going to keep rinsing and repeating that tactic. Anytime, anytime they zerg. Chase me, chase me. And it's a, it's a real World War II tactic the Germans used a lot. They'd send in, you know, a weak unit to provoke things to chase them back onto strongly fortified positions. And it works. Well, it works with AI. I don't know if it works well with a human, but uh, one has to think, yes, it would. Now something up there hasn't been killed, but there's a hiding on the mini map. Ah, little tankette, machine gun tank. So I'm about to do my lure him thing. I mean, this gun line is miles away, it's time to move that up. So there's still one more up there. There's still some uh, armor.
I switched that off free fire, like that was on free fire. Um, I'm trying to save the shots again, I don't know if it really does reload. It's the ammo truck. So that's two repairable trucks, maybe three. See under that mini map, I don't know if everything was dead. I'm going to assume it is, I think, and start moving forward. So we'll have a little advance up to advance to contact basically. Um, I'll start repairing these tanks as soon as I can. So that's not good, that's an anti-aircraft gun shooting on. I won't be able to repair that tank with the one behind it because it's in range. You might get a kill. I think I shot someone, so I run. That's the limit of how far we can advance. So here's a tank crew look coming in in his Kuba wagon. Bought him for 50, 40 points, nice and cheap. And I'm parking the Kuba wagon close because I know it's got repair kits in it. And these guys can start working on all the tanks in the area. At least that which the anti-aircraft gun will allow. And in the meantime, I'll move in. Something to deal with the anti-aircraft gun, probably mortar. No worker, something like that. Maybe even a tank, but probably not. Put some artillery. Just to um, remove the threat. Here that's found. That's two camouflaged. I'm look, looking for some kind of armored vehicle inside that shed. Let's get the snipers up there too. Vehicle repair, I bet it's not, but it's just a bit, a bit of it. Yeah, it was a holiday. It's a medal. I fixed the wheel! Give me the medal! Oh, There's a trench on the right side, getting the snipe. But that means the snipers are taking fire, I think, from the anti aircraft trench because I need to move them fast. is working on that anti-aircraft gun. Mom's dropping in. Mom's just working on everything, isn't it? Not fast, is it? Alright. Yes, yeah, so those are the 76mm field guns. I haven't given them a go. Don't know what they do. It's just got one man left on it. But I don't, can't really get a nice long flank from the sniper on it just because it takes me under the anti-aircraft gun. Got nine shells left. I don't know if there's, oh, just smoke. So I'll get the, 
I'll take a risk with the artillery with the artillery ammo truck and go and park it behind the very advanced guard mortar. Where's the ammo truck? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Let's get him down to the mortar. And all these things can move up to... Oh, I thought the ammo truck's got there, the mortar's firing again. Whatever that field gun does, I think it's not a howitzer, it needs line of sight. I like to take them intact, but... Not so much I want to risk people's lives to capture them. Mortar does luck me out. I just decrew them, that'll be good. All right. It's that anti-aircraft gun next. I wonder if we can open up line of sight if the mortal will just start attacking it.
Hans. The top of the hill is a gun line I really want to get next, but it's still in range of that anti-aircraft gun. Just past where this tank is. Where this those are the spots I want. You know, I'm on the plateau and I've got line of sight for a long way to go. The anti aircraft gun is pretty much shutting that idea down. Befehl wird ausgeführt. Having to manually shoot this one. Uh, yeah, he doesn't seem to want to do it. So first I'm aiming at that tree up behind him so I get the visuals. So then I'm, uh, then I'm manually shooting him. Then I'm aiming back at the tree to get the line of the visuals. There he is, aimed the tree. Now I can see him a few seconds. Just long enough to shoot one. And I miss one. And I'll aim at the tree. Now I can see him. And then we'll take, do the shooting thing. Rinse and repeat. Stop him. Give up. Change his position or something. Now, where's the mortar? Schau, Schütze, erwartet Befehle. Setze mich in Bewegung. Get out of there. Yeah, Car shooting. I mean, it'd be possible to snipe that, but it just doesn't seem like the right way to do it. Good way to leave snipers, I think. I think I can sink the mortar up to here. It's got some hard cover. I'm going to move the snipers in with the mortar just in case there's more infantry loose. And it needs a bit of protection. Which you might do. And pretty soon I'll need to move the ammunition truck up there too. There you go, it's a nice aggressive mortar. Do you think? First shot. No, it's not. Yeah. 
Alright, long story short, just skip forward till the mortar finally does its job, which was that last shot. You can just see on the mini map that little red arrow went white. Might be some stragglers loose in town. Essentially, time for another advance. Just whack up into this town, I think. Let's uh, see how that works out. Oh, somebody's shooting. Oh, My stuff so far advanced in the gun line. And the mortar. I if that's the tanks out there. It's going to get me. I haven't advanced fast enough. He's hiding. It's time. Time to deploy the noble weapon. For a start. on the mini-map, it's moving, it's a big tank, right, it's a tank, and it's moving, how fast can we get these cannons up, right now, I can't do it, I said it before earlier, but I think I'll get time to get there, that tank arrives, There it is, look. Just on our left here. Tank it. No, oh, he's not charging. That's his mistake. It's going to be time to counter. to mount up and might be not capture tanks now. That? go on get him Alright, let's pull forward and move on into town. I think it's kicking off. Let's see what it is yet. Up here, armoured car. That was a pack. I like it. I just fast forwarded a bit till uh, we got everything into town. And now that that's done, I'm going to move out uh, to the field in front of that town. And that, I think, is um, engagement range on the final uh, objective, which is the escarpment. The you know the two compounds, the trench system, up on the hill, uh, where that yellow arrow is pointing, through the fog up there. I want to essentially get into that field in front of us now, the open field. Uh, that I think is the is engagement range, the front line of the trench. So I've pretty much manned all the guns, uh, the, the auto cannon and the, the anti-aircraft guns just will still be repaired, but pretty soon it'll be repaired. Uh, and then we're going to have a big long line going against that hill. Pretty much everything's here now. And we'll have one more advance. Oh look, there's still the odd straggler in town. Uh, you see that little dot there? 
We might just get popped. I haven't flattened all the buildings. Um, I was thinking buildings good cover, you know. But now that I think I own everything, now that I don't think there's any particular any threat, I haven't flattened all the buildings. Probably a good time to do so. Just going to tank it and have a go. Oh, strong enough. And you know, there's an infantry guy hiding behind it. If there are no buildings, he needs to be no he needs to be dead a long time ago. But definitely now that I'm not under star, now that I'm in heavy, you know, in high numbers, heavy handed. Oh, I see it's been shot. Oh, I hold the building has gone. So that my fire superiority is uh, massive. I'll just crush them down on board. And then, as I said, we're going to move into this field next. Stand by. Now, this is the field I want. This is what it overlooks. And I'd love to have that trench in mortar range or artillery range. There's a kind of gun emplacement in the middle of that square at the bottom. So, I mean. Got nerbles. 42 nerbles. I'm pressing V, I'm holding V down to see all the dead bodies, but it's not showing me any. Just having a bit of a listen there, see if I can hear any engines. Oh, a quick uh, snip into the future. Now you can see that that's the kind of big gun line in the field. Artillery hiding under haystacks. Resupplies there. Well, absolutely everything, even the anti-aircraft gun. Everything's right here in this field. Phased for the final assault. You know, they've got angle, they've got range, anything hits on the top of that head, anything sticks out of the trench, anything. Comes this way. Should be deal should be doable. Uh, binoculars guys gonna have a little look. You can't tell you, you can see a couple of guys in the front of the trench. That's it. The big sort of cannon thing in the centre of that, thankfully, is unmanned. And it's catchable too, but I don't think we'll have time. We want to repair after being artillery. And we're going to send the snipers up for an explore. In their own time. And that's the next phase. Snipers ahead of massive gun concentration. The same old formula. this so the fool stuck his head above the trenches are oh, the snipers lit him up Soviet armored reserves are incoming from the east. East. Okay, oh, I see them on the map. Oh, they go get, oh, I've they shot one of my snipers already. So I'm going to try and bait him onto the gun line. Luckily, I've just got a massive gun line. He's heading straight for it, so. Hopefully, we'll get lucky. Yeah, 
is now going to give me a bit of a headache. This one looks quite small too, so I think it's going the same way. Meat with a bigger bag. More screaming. And my dead sniper is revivable. I'm going to get a coming up. I think we're going to get any big ones. Oh, sneaky, he's got past me. He hasn't. The one's got away, I don't know what he's going to do, if he's going to come back or... Going to mess with the sniper. He's dying! Tell! I can't promise there's been a no casualties run, but um, if not, it's, it's really close. I'm quite pleased about, yes, a grin. Boys, Let's queue up another uh, nerval strike. Really, sh I'm having trouble with the camera angle here. Um, it's quite hard to place it where I want to place it. No, a bit random that one. I don't think we've got plenty of ammo. I said I was having a lot of camera issues there. That's my excuse, honest. I'm not super suck shooter. Uh, there's some kind of car. And a mortar. Let's snipe him. Say goodbye to that. Be tempted to capture it, but there's so few enemy left at this point. It's basically a mopping up exercise. Uh, uh, 
nehme das Ziel ins Visier. Ich nehme ihn aufs Korn unterwegs. Oh, get an angle on this trench. Pops on the lamp. There's still some kind of vehicle out there. I definitely hear engines inside that farm compound. The part that didn't get hit by the naval workers. There's some stragglers in the trenches. That's it, as far as I can tell. Which is good, because I'm pretty hungry. I'm ready for a snack. I don't know about you guys, but... It's 8 o'clock. It's 4.30 a.m. <laughs> Knuckle night doing this. Breakfast time. I can't quite see what that red thing is on the minimap, might be the vehicle. Gonna um, send some tanks up there to clean out the trenches, I should speed it up. Hopefully they can deal with whatever's hiding in the shed up there. As well as getting, you know, gun mine down, down the trenches and mowing everything apart. Still, the old one in the trenches, and so I said, in the shed. It's the right, just the left one in that corner. Yeah, that shed there with the hay bales. I'm pretty sure there's something in there. Tankette, or I don't know, some kind of vehicle. Find the tank. Starting back. You're gonna win it. Go on, win it. Oh, oh. So, I think that's the first casualty of the game. Form there. Not long for six scores. 
to the young boys. Yeah, look, it's just a tank out of the two That's it. Big tank lost a little tank. Embarrassing. Sandbags around. And there's definitely a red dot just around there on the mini map, but doesn't seem to squash. Two red dots, that must be the crew. Excellent job, Soldaten. This right. elevated position will no longer be a threat when the weather clears up. We lost. Thanks for watching folks and uh, do come again, uh, I will be finishing the German series obviously it's the first of a six part series. And a six men, uh, alright, see you next time.